Welcome back to the channel my friends, Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man and today I want to talk about the Army Painter. This video is sponsored by CMO Games, more on that later. Alright, so over the last couple of years, Army Painter has went from a recognizable brand name to something of a hobby staple. Over the last couple of years, they had a massive glow up with the introduction of Speed Paint, an affordable one layer solution with the idea that you could get a cheap one layer paint that would act similar to Games Workshop's contrast paints, which no doubt revolutionized the hobby. Not only were they to be affordable, but they were also effective as well. There was a ton of hype behind them, and as they ramped up for the pre-orders, it seemed like they were going to change the hobby world forever. Unfortunately, there was some sudden drama that popped up, and suddenly the only thing you were hearing about was the reactivation issue. Now, regardless of whether or not you thought this was a problem, it was definitely something that should have been advertised. And while there's people to this day that still swear by the Army Painter 1.0 speed paints, and haven't had any issues with reactivation, there's others that just absolutely won't use them. But Army Painter was quick to act and immediately came up with the idea for Speed Paint 2.0. With their main goal in mind to fix the reactivation issue, it wasn't long before they launched the Speed Paint 2.0 line. And here we have the complete set now available. Now this set specifically from Army Painter is $459. They worked with some key YouTube creators like Dana Howell, Watch It Paint It, and Goobertown Hobbies as well as some others, some of which fell off along the way for undisclosed reasons. But this set here is basically everything that they offer from the Speed Paint 2.0 line. They even revolutionized Speed Paints with the introduction of the metallic Speed Paints, to which we saw reviews from notable figures in the space like Vince Venturella. So I figured after everything going on and with the upcoming release of the Army Painters Fanatic Paint line, we should kind of take a look and see where they stand now. So if we just scroll down here and take a look at what comes with the Speed Paint Complete Set, it features every Speed Paint 2.0 color in existence. That includes all 23 original colors, 44 newly developed colors, 10 Speed Paint Metallics, and 12 colors designed by Dana Howell, Watch It Paint It, and Goobertown Hobbies. And also includes an extra large 100 milliliter bottle of Speed Paint Medium. So down here on the contents, it says 90 18 milliliter Speed Paints, but it does look like it's actually 79 colors, 10 metallics, and then one 100 milliliter bottle. Comes with a couple of brushes as well. So it looks like a pretty nice set. And if we scroll back up here to the price, we can see from the Army Painter, it is $459 which comes out to $5.10 per speed paint. So not exactly cheap, but quite a bit cheaper than Games Workshop's original contrast paints. And with 89 paints to choose from, and the only contrast style paint metallics in existence, looks like a pretty nice set. Now $459 is a lot, and most people will probably never use 90 different paints, nor should they. And realistically, if you are going to have 90 paints, you should probably just have like 30 colors and use like one of the more common like triad systems or potentially just get comfortable with mixing some of your own paints. Now, I personally tend to not mix paints as much as I used to because one, I have a much larger collection now. And two, I like to always make sure that I can simply match the colors that I've used previously because oftentimes I'm revisiting an old army that I'm painting or a commission for someone else and I want to make sure that everything matches up correctly. So from what I understand, I've not used the Speed Paint 2.0 set yet, but they do take a little bit longer to dry, but appear to have fixed the reactivation issue. They're not nearly as cheap as they were initially, but they do have a nice range offering and the addition of the metallics. So part of the excitement now, obviously the Speed Paints have come out and then Speed Paint 2.0 as well. But there's a lot of excitement and a lot of buzz around the Fanatic range, which is getting ready to launch. So now that some of the excitement and some of the drama has faded over the Speed Paint 1.0 line, the reactivation issue has been fixed with Speed Paint 2.0. And now they've got a bunch more paints in the range, as well as the addition of the Metallics. Army Painter is once again ramping up for the launch of the Fanatic Complete Paint Set. Their new paint line, which is going to replace the long-standing paint range of the Army Painter War Paints. And if you've been in the hobby for any amount of time, you know that there's definitely some pluses and minuses behind the Army Painter War Paints. The pluses are they're readily available all over the place for most people getting into the hobby. They're the most accessible paint line, not just in Europe where the Army Painter is from, but also here in the United States and many other countries as well. You can find them just about anywhere that sells miniatures, and you can find them for a pretty reasonable price. At one point in time, I picked up the Army Painter Mega Set for about 100 bucks, which is a great deal because there's a ton of paints in it, but I did find them to be subpar. There's far too much medium in them. They're very, very difficult to get them to mix correctly, and they tend to not have the best coverage. But if you've ever used Army Painter War Paints, you don't need me to tell you that. You've experienced it firsthand for yourself. But the idea behind the Fanatic paint set is that they are going to be a much higher quality paint, a much better coverage, 
and something much more comparable to the competition, like Games Workshop, Vallejo, or Pro Acryl. So these are getting ready to launch up, and while I couldn't find the actual launch date on Army Painter's website, I was able to find this online. We do see the Fanatic Complete Paint Set, which is 216 War Paint Fanatics. It's on pre-sale now and should be coming out on March 15th of 2024, so a few months from now. And the actual Army Painter website didn't have the price displayed, but it does look like it's going to be $759, which comes out to about $3.51 per paint. Now, obviously, we can see this one is on pre-sale for $670 which is a little closer to $3 per paint, which is still cheaper than some of the competition. Not exactly cheap as far as tabletop paints go. So now that we've taken a look at the Speed Paints, Speed Paint 2.0, and now the excitement behind the Fanatic Paints, I thought we would jump over to Army Painters FAQ and see what they had to say. Now, personally, in the past, I've only really used the Speed Paints and the War Paint range, and while I found them acceptable for beginners, they just didn't really hold the light to Games Workshop's paints. I did experiment quite a bit when I was looking for some alternatives when Games Workshop was changing the sizes of its bottles and I was specifically looking for new shades or washes and found that the Army Painters were adequate. But for the most part, I found that the majority of their paints were subpar when compared one-to-one -one with Games Workshops. I also felt like some of their advertising, some of their marketing had been a little bit dishonest in the past. But to tell you the truth, I reached out to Army Painter, expressed my issues, and since then they've corrected a lot of the things that I pointed out. I'm not saying they specifically corrected them because of what I said, but I found that all the things I previously had issue with have since been corrected. So regardless if I was the reason or not, the fact of the matter is they listened to me or they listened to the community and they made the necessary changes. So I figured I would jump over here and just take a look at the FAQ and see what they had to say about the upcoming Fanatic release. When is Warpaint's Fanatic releasing? It says pre-order early in 2024, which makes sense because we saw it looks like they're going to launch in March, around the middle of the month. Is the price going up? You can expect that Warpaints Fanatic will be priced affordably and accessibly, and our Warpaints Fanatic box set will offer insane savings as always. So it's a little bit on the vague side. They could have easily come out and said, no, we're not raising the prices, just up in the quality. But obviously they didn't, so it seems more likely than not that they are going up in price. And after taking a look at the actual prices, we can see that they are going up. But with extra research and development and what we would presume is going to be a better quality product, you would expect the price to go up accordingly. So next we have, how does the paint look once dry? The stabilizing properties of the paint help to reduce surface tension by slightly prolonging the drying time. Initial first coats may appear slightly glossy, but once dry, they offer a smooth matte finish. When can we learn more? Over the coming weeks and months, be sure to stay tuned to our channel and newsletter, where we'll be debuting exclusive tutorials, product content, and release information about the Warpaint Fanatic. And then finally, what is happening to the existing Warpaints range? The original Warpaints range has been a staple for many hobbyists and gamers over the last decade. With the advancement in materials and technology, we were able to make a paint that performs like no other with Warpaints Fanatics. The original paint range will be phased out and ultimately replaced with the Fanatic paints, which will become a new standard for quality, performance, value, and availability. Warpaints Fanatics still features our color match system for staple colors such as demonic yellow, green skin, and so on. Other colors will have very similar representation within our flexible triad system. So it does sound like the original Warpaints are going away. That being said, there are millions of them out there in the community still for sale all over the place. So if you were after those paints, if you wanted those discount starter paints, realistically, you're probably not going to have any problem finding them for years to come. Now, will anybody want to buy those once the new Warpaint Fanatics are out? Well, if you want to save a buck, probably yes, because they are very, very cheap. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. So just kind of jumping over to Games Workshop's website now, I just wanted to take a look at what their offerings are. Now, obviously, you can buy their paints individually. There's never been an issue with that. But they really don't offer any kind of like big set or anything like that. A matter of fact, if you search paints on their store, you'll find that they have the Warhammer 40,000 paint and tool set for $45. 
and like the sets that they have offered for years, it features 12 regular paints, one shade slash wash, a set of clippers, a mold line remover, and a brush. They also have some smaller sets that include a couple of models, six paints, and a brush for $35. And then if we scroll down here, they have the similar offerings for Age of Sigmar as well. Again, $45 for 13 paints, including a shade, clippers, brush, and mold line remover, as well as two smaller bundles with some miniatures and six paints for $35. So Games Workshop really doesn't have any large like bundle paint sets that are part of their line to even compete with some of the other brands. And while 13 paints is probably enough for most people to get started with, if you're looking for a more full paint collection, Games Workshop has offered some bundle deals in the past. Games Workshop doesn't even have a regularly stocked product with like 30, 50, or 200 paints to even compete with some of these other brands. And if we scroll down here, we see that your typical contrast paints are going to run you about $7.80 compared to the roughly $5 that you would be paying for the bundled speed paint sets. And their standard paints run $4.55, compared to the roughly $3 that you would be paying for the Fanatic paints from Army Painter in the bundle deal. So I think in conclusion, Army Painter is offering some nice products. They've had a lot of buzz in the past. They've definitely had some drama as well, but they've been pretty good about openly communicating with the community. They're offering some big bundle deals and definitely some discounts over Games Workshop and much of the competition. They have some really nice color offerings. At this time, they have a full color offering for a Speed Paint 2.0 line. They've even introduced a handful of metallic speed paints as well. They have a larger bottle of medium that they sell. And with their new Warpaint Fanatics on the horizon, while they're definitely going to be a little more pricey and eliminate their old standard Warpaints over time, you should still be able to pick them up in a nice bundle deal for a discounted price, should you want those subpar paints, as opposed to the new fancy reformulated ones. So I think overall, after the dust has cleared a couple years into Army Painter's little glow up, I think they're doing a good job. They've got a nice color offering. They're listening to the community. They're working with YouTube creators to advertise, market, and fine-tune their paints to make sure that they're giving people what they want. They've been able to raise the quality, and they're still able to keep the cost down. Even if they're going up a little bit, they're still going to be substantially cheaper than something like Games Workshop, which I would consider to be a premium product and still has some flaws of its own. So that's my sort of like unbiased review of Army Painter. This is in no way sponsored by them. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Army Painter now. From what I've heard in the community, people really enjoy the Speed Paint 1.0 and also Speed Paint 2.0. And the actual Army Painter War Paints are a really cheap and good like intro set for people to get into the hobby with. But I wouldn't recommend them, nor would I personally use them, just because they are a subpar product. I've heard from a few people who've already gotten the actual Army Painter Fanatic sets. And it sounds like they're much more comparable to what you would expect from the higher quality brands. So let me know down in the comments what experiences you've had with Army Painter. If you use the Speed Paint 1.0, 2.0, or War Paints range. Also, if you're excited or thinking about picking up the Fanatic Paints as well. I think for me personally, if I was going to recommend to people should they buy any of these big sets, I would always recommend that you start off with just a couple of paints from a line and make sure that you like it prior to branching out into one of these big paint sets. Because the truth is, for the majority of people, you're never really going to need 200 different paints, nor are you ever going to use them up. And the last thing you want to do is buy a paint set only to find out that you don't enjoy how the actual paints work or find out that a better product is on the way. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop's products. They also offer the Army Painter products at a nice discount as well. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man. And when it comes to the Army Painter, I think overall they're doing a good job. And I'm out of here.